Neon Genesis Evangelion is one of the best shows I have ever seen. The way it explores the characters' complex relationships, personalities, backgrounds in this in-depth way is just nutty. And one thing that baffles me is that it's not viewed this way by the general public. Innuendos and the rush ending are complaints commonly thrown out. But I'm here today to look at the good and the bad of this beautiful series, to prove that it is the masterpiece of our time. Good. First episode and a false glimpse of hope. Neon Genesis Evangelion, which from now on I'm just gonna call Ava or Evangelion for short, starts off with a genuinely intriguing premise. There's a bunch of teenagers in this red desert-like setting who don't know the first thing about sex, or literally anything about sex, because it's never taught. And then they raise their whole lives to pilot the Avas and male to female pairs. And there are five pairs, but you don't need to care about any of those other pilots, because this is mainly about our two main characters, Shinji and Asuka. Shinji can't pilot unless it's with Asuka for some fucking arbitrary reason. Sorry, I mean, so the plot doesn't end right there. Also, one thing to know about Asuka is that she's a hybrid of a human and an angel. The angels are these huge blue and black dinosaur mech things that just kind of appeared with no real explanation. And these are what the Avas were made for, to fight the angels. Bad. Relationship between Shinji and Asuka. Now again, like the first few episodes of the show, it was alright. But then it gets worse and worse. It deteriorates faster than roadkill. You know, it's a good concept to have like this more romantic relationship aspect to this mecha show. Asuka teaches Shinji about kissing since they, the pilots, don't know about that. They actually get together in like the first few episodes which I can't really say about other animes and mangas about relationships. But once we get past those episodes and it starts leaning into the stupid fights and stuff, you kind of begin focusing on that and you also have to touch on the relationship and it just doesn't feel natural anymore. And I began to just f***ing hate both Shinji and Asuka as Evangelion progressed. And speaking of hating things the more the show progressed... Bad. Thrown out ideas. You know what Evangelion could have used? A couple more episodes. Definitely a season 2. In fact, if it got a season 2, I feel like I would have really enjoyed it. The villains of the story aren't even revealed until the show is almost over, but we'll get to those later. Like the big city, I forgot what it's called, I'd be shocked if it even had a name. I thought that was a very interesting place, and that episode where the pilots are exploring and talking to these adults who live in it. Specifically this older woman, it was a very good episode because I can actually remember some of it. But that kind of gets thrown out the window because, I mean, they do go back to this place, but that's only for a fight. Yeah? No further explanation of this. There's other instances, like what happens to Shinji and Asuka at the end of the show? Adults and parasites. Masado is this young adult parasite who goes back to a pubescent state after seeing kids happy or something? And then gets replaced by a new Masado? Earth's habability, aging and immortality, seal, and probably about a slew of other things I forgot, just like the writers of this show. Good. The opening and the endings. The music is alright, mainly the main opening song and the endings. I really like both versions of A Cruel Angel's thesis, with this smooth voice sensually singing while these fucking crazy visuals are playing. It's very slow and unique compared to a lot of other openings. I would describe it with one word. Honey. And the second opening just uses the same song with the worst looking visual that doesn't represent the sound as well. 
kind of going for this more watery vibe. The EDs are really good though, especially EDs 1 and 5 of Fly Me to the Moon. They're incredibly hype and probably after like the first 5 episodes, the best part of those later episodes, and helped me continue moving on with this show. Good. The animation. Yeah, it's alright, I guess. Bad. Ava's. So this is a mecha anime, right? Then let's talk about the mechs. The Ava's here are just downright confusing. I don't even know what they were going for with these designs. They are like these cartoony anime women, but mechs? Don't get me wrong, the actual mechs look pretty dope with the lances and this kind of slim armor look. I also think the white bodies with the other color streaks are a sleek choice. Except this one is black for some reason? Okay. But the eyes just ruin it. I can't take it seriously. I'd rather them just use generic mechs at this point. They look like if you mix the Tapus from Pokemon and Digimon together. There's also the way they are piloted that rubs me the wrong way. Okay, so everything here has to be like a sexual allegory or some kind. So the girl pilot has to get on all fours and the male pilot pilots the Ava by using handles on the girl's ass. I'm not joking. Bad. Borrowing from its predecessor. In 1995, there was this bad anime that came out called Darling in the Franks. And the problem with Ava here is that Ava wants to copy Darling in the Franks' answers for the test. I wouldn't say it's a complete ripoff. The whole romance and reproduction stuff is original. Fuck horrible plot points, but still original. But look, a group of 14 year olds pilot mech robots in a post apocalyptic world. The two main girls, one is a hothead personality who wears red and the other is a more stoic one and wears blue. They have to protect the world against these giant monsters, partner synchronization, adults commanding from the sidelines. Both of them can be referred to as Zero Two, mysterious organization that is overseeing everything, twists involving the robots and kaijus. I get it's probably paying homage but it's really bad at doing it, and I'd rather just watch the superior show. Impractical Jokers. Bad. The fights. They are boring action slop. The fights in Darling and the Franks aren't like the most compelling part of that show either, but at the very least they were entertaining and suspenseful. It felt like the characters could die at any moment. Bad. Reproduction plotline. It's pretty clear this is a message about Japan's dwindling birth rate. So basically the adults in Ava can become immortal by sacrificing their reproductive organs. But then the angel nation attacked and so the children are created in a lab to pilot the Avas. And the Avas can only be piloted by fertile male and female pairs. So these children are never taught anything about like pregnancy. Which leads to the obvious next step in the plot. One of the pilots finding a book about pregnancy and getting pregnant. What? Teenage pregnancy is definitely one of the plot points of all time. I felt really uncomfortable watching this. I mean, this just comes out of left field. These characters like barely interact and then suddenly she's pregnant. I felt like they could have also used like maybe other characters for this, not teenagers and advocate for teenage pregnancy. This and the whole show is just basically screaming, get pregnant, get pregnant, get pregnant. Bad. One dimensional characters. Shinji is a boring protagonist that doesn't grow or change. Asuka goes from interesting and honestly carrying the whole show to one of the worst aspects of it. These two are alright, wait. These two are f***ing stupid. He's alright and I almost forgot about her. These two are also boring as well. And their designs are super fucking generic anime characters. It's surprising coming from the studio that brought us this. Bad. Info dump episode. So up until episode 19, I guess they realized they hadn't done that much world building. So let's just empty it all out in one fucking episode. Literally like six episodes left. 
Why doesn't it come early? Why isn't it spread out into multiple episodes? It basically just involves Gendo explaining how the world came to ruin, and how humans use magma energy to make themselves immortal, but then they eventually lost their will to procreate. Gendo questions himself about, is immortality really good? Are we really humans anymore if we don't have children? Yes! You can still be human and not want to have children. This is a f***ing stupid show. It never explained why the robots have to be piloted and only male to female pairs. Spoiler warning! Not that even matters. Do you care about this horrible anime? I certainly don't. Bad. God awful ending. It's no secret that after episode 15, this show falls off hard. Like nose diving out of a plane hard. All of those bad things I mentioned mostly happen in the second half of Ava. The big fight in the city that never gets elaborated on, the info dump episode, the pregnancy, the characters turning into shit, even the opening is worse. But the most agonizing thing happens near the ending, and that's the Gynax ending. Stemming from Gynax what the f endings like Darling and the Franks, this show decides to make Seal aliens. <laughs> that's right, aliens. This literally comes out of nowhere, no foreshadowing, not that it would make it better, just help me ease into this bad idea. And then they go into space to fight the alien villains, and I think the worst part of the show reveals itself. Asuka turns into a f***ing spaceship. What the f*** were they thinking? It doesn't look right. It looks like a My Little Pony OC, a f***ing Deviant ROC. And then they beat the bad guys or something and die together, but maybe not. I don't know. This show should have had a season 2, or better yet, not even made. That's my thoughts on Neon Genesis Evangelion, a f***ing beautiful masterpiece that stuns me with its beauty. It's like Medusa and I can't look into its eyes, literally. With that, I'm gonna give Neon Genesis Evangelion the honor of getting a high S tier. Bye!